I was getting up in the morning and I flipped on a uh, breakfast television and uh, I see this announcement. And I remember in that moment having this, uh, this realization that I might actually be able to access this province the same as everybody else. Something that I never thought would be possible in my life. That day was June 13th, 2005, when the province passed the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, or AODA, with a 20-year timeline to make the province fully accessible. With the Jan 1st, 2025 deadline now less than six months away, advocates like Jeff Preston say it's been a frustrating and disappointing countdown with little progress in the two decades since the act became law. In a lot of ways, I am still struggling to access this world uh, in many of the same ways that it was uh, back in 2005 when this first came into effect. We seem to be wanting to govern over people with disabilities rather than giving people with disabilities quality of life. There's no question we're better off than if we had not had this legislation. But there have been tremendous failures failures to enact all the standards we need, failure to provide the supports for business that they need, uh, failure to effectively enforce the law. That lack of enforcement is one of the main shortcomings advocates point out. We're relying on people's goodwill and their moral or ethical belief in accessibility, as opposed to what other laws do, uh, which is to compel people to play by the rules. When I see a business that isn't compliant, I don't even know what to do about that. Like there's no process to file a complaint to get that looked into. They've got a power to hire inspectors and directors and issue compliance orders and eventually levy substantial monetary penalties. But the government is largely not using those powers. City News reached out to Minister for Seniors and Accessibility Raymond Cho to ask about the progress Ontario has made and his thoughts on the looming AODA deadline. We received a list of about a dozen of Ontario's successes in the field, but no further comments on the failings advocates are calling attention to. Those we spoke to say the AODA still has much to offer, but there's one key factor needed to ensure it fulfills its potential. We need a government that's prepared to fulfill its legal obligations and to take it seriously. The way forward requires leadership. There is very clearly a lack of priority being placed here and a lack of leadership. Uh, what we need is action, not platitudes. Dilshad Berman, City News.